hi guys welcome to my channel and welcome to my kitchen all right so today's video i will be showing you how to make shawarma you know those that shawarma you buy in, in all those joints in VR, right in lekki yes 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 this is the exact same shawarma it tastes exactly the same it's pretty easy less than five minutes i mean depends on how fast you are and depends on how fast you prepare your ingredients you should be done <laughs> you should be done all right so yeah so to all my new subscribers y'all so welcome to the family i drop cooking videos you know once in a while and for the existing subscribers thank you so much for sticking around i'm sure you'll enjoy this recipe and if you go ahead and make it can you tag me in the let me know in the dm tag me on instagram tag me on facebook okay so yeah let's go cooking together yes. can you all right guys so here are the ingredients you will be needing i'll just be showing you one after the other this is the style of the show without this you don't even have a sh you have your shawarma okay so this is the bread okay I got these from Target. You can get it in any grocery store, Walmart, Kroger, um, where else? ShopRite, um, yeah, even in Lagos. I think Ebano, of course, Ebano should have it. Um, what's it called? ShopRite as well, in Lagos should have it. And Spa should have it as well. Anywhere you are, this bread is pretty, pretty easy to find. You can get the white one on the week, depends on your taste bud. Okay, the next one here, is your hot dog as well okay for the hot dog it says it's made with turkey chicken and pork so there are different kinds there's a pork one there's a chicken do the one that suits you all right the hot dog is right here and we have the cabbage and that's the cabbage right here we have the chicken breasts okay that's the chicken breasts Chicken breasts can be gotten anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. We have your ketchup, okay? That's the ketchup right there. And we have the mayonnaise. And we have our pepper. That's the pepper right there, okay? So for the pepper, I guess it's option now, but I mean, once shawarma without the pepper, you know that, that thing, tingly sensation you get when you consume something quite spicy that's why the pepper is actually important and we need we need our toaster as well okay we need our toaster this is what it looks like inside I'm sure most homes have it have a toaster okay so we will end up having, having to toast it yeah, some people call that Nigerian toaster. You can use anything. You can use a grill. I think you can use a grill. Yeah, you can use a grill as well. So just improvise and um, whatever you have, make do with it. It's pretty easy, like I said. These are the ingredients. I'm just showing you, showing them to you just as is. I already have them prepared in my refrigerator, so I'm not going to go ahead and prepare them from, from scratch again. So from this video onward, there's going to be a voiceover. So I'd like you to stick around and enjoy this video. If you go ahead and make it, like I said, don't forget to tag me. Don't forget to, yeah. If you have any questions, leave in the comment section down. All right, so let's start making our shawarma, okay? So like I mentioned, we already have our ingredients all prepared there. And we have our hot dog. That has been fried and prepared for us to use. I'm making it for two people. So we have both of them. And we have our chicken. I went ahead and grilled that as well. Nicely boiled and spiced. So we have that already chopped nicely. And that's what we are going to be using for the shower map. And next, we have our cabbage. I nicely chopped the cabbage so it comes in small pieces that will sprinkle on the shawarma as well so depends on how you like your cabbage so that's already chopped for you like i said and yeah so that's that one we have on there and the next ingredient we will have is like i said our pepper this will just add a little spice to our shawarma some people like it spicy some don't i do not like it spicy so i try to minimize the amount of pepper i put in my shawarma because this one i'm making i'm making two for myself and the next 
one we have like i said it doesn't have to be spicy it all depends on your taste board the next one we have is our mayonnaise you um the mayonnaise is very important this gives it the very distinct um, taste that we normally taste in the shawarma in combination with the ketchup okay so this mayonnaise it says the real mayonnaise actually and we have a uh, ketchup so the ketchup mixed with the mayonnaise gives it that pinkish color you find i hear in nigeria now you find your already um, prepared mix so you don't have to actually make it from scratch okay and also we have the style of the show which i showed you earlier which is the bread you can get your bread from any store any store at all you can get the white one you can get the wheat bread it all depends on what you like okay so that's the bread right there okay and um yeah so it's white i got the white one these are like the very round big flat bread okay and yeah so we're gonna go ahead right now and prepare uh, shower ma. so I'm just moving the camera so you can actually get to see the ingredients pretty closely for us to use get, well, first get a clean bowl that you need to meet, have your mixture put inside okay a clean bowl already washed remember like I said make sure you wash your hand it is very very important your hand needs to be properly washed this will prevent cross contamination okay like i said wash your hands this will prevent cross contamination you can use any bowl it doesn't matter what kind of bowl you're using okay any bowl it's fine for the shawarma and you also need a toaster i showed this to you earlier i actually got this particular toaster from walmart is in walmart for i think it was, was it 19 dollars it was pretty inexpensive any store you can get a toaster so it doesn't really matter the kind of toaster you're using you can also make use of a grill so i'm bringing the bowl close so you can see what's inside so i'll go ahead and put in the mayonnaise now to the quantity that i want okay so that's me just going ahead trying to get it <laughs> i think i was running out of it already okay so i'm just putting it inside I used a very small quantity for this. I don't really like the the mixture to be too much in the shower. It might be difficult for you to wrap. If it's too much, it's just gonna be spilling. Okay, that's what's inside the bowl. That's just the mayonnaise for now. I'll take the ketchup and I'll put a, a small quantity inside. Okay, then I'll go ahead and just do a quick, like a quick stir okay so like i'm using a uh, spoon you can use anything you want just go ahead and give it a quick stare all right so that's what i'm showing to the camera right now so you have an, uh, a better view of what it looks like after you have mixed the ketchup and the mayonnaise together it's pretty pretty simple can you see the pink color yes that's a shawarma color that you try to achieve so the next thing we'll go ahead and put in our pepper this is a point you put in your pepper we're just um, getting this, the spice into it or the pepper into it so it becomes quite spicy you don't want to put it at the tail end this is the time you do all the mixture your pepper your ketchup your mayonnaise this is the time you do it at this point you should have this shawarma aroma already once you put in the pepper it's like magic the aroma just comes out okay so i'm gonna put that aside and get a clean flat plate a clean flat plate i'll open up my bread right now and i'll lay the bread on the plate okay that's what i'm showing you lay the bread on the plate or if you have a clean surface you can put it directly on the surface but I, I personally would not do that i would not use a plate so you take a little quantity of the mixture and try to get it all over your bread okay don't make it too much because when you're wrapping you might 
fall into the issue of the mixture spilling out at the point you'll be wrapping your shawarma. So don't put too much of the mixture, okay? All right, so go ahead and ensure that it tries to cover the entire bread as much as possible, okay? Once that is done, you're going to take, like I told you, I washed my hands, so it's okay for me to use my hands to scoop the cabbage. So just take a little and put it on the bread. Okay, perfect. A little and put on the bread. And once that is done, the next thing I will do is I will take a little of the chicken. Remember we're putting the hot dog, so don't overshadow with your meat. Just put the chicken or turkey Whatever it is that you're using, just put a little in there. Okay? Just put a little in there. And I guess at this point, this should be enough for me. Okay? And I'll put that down. And I'll now get my hot dog. Just take just one. If you know one is too much, you can just cut it in half. That's also fine. Cut it in half if you're not a fan of having too much of that in your meal okay this is the point where we get to wrap our shawarma very easy like i said it's very 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 easy i'm sorry it's not showing so well but yeah so take it from underneath try to scoop all the ingredients to one end that's why i said you have to wash your hands and roll it very very nicely can you see how rolled it is very very nicely and try to have the ingredients inside tuck one side in tuck the next and roll the flap over and do the same for the other end okay like i said just go ahead like i said roll it over scoop all the ingredients to one end okay so rolling nicely okay just exactly like what i'm doing and once you have gotten that done Tuck one side in, look at both ends, so you know exactly that you're doing the right thing. Tuck one side, get the one overlay, and the top one. You see how easy it is? I'm doing it over again so you can actually see what I did. Do that, repeat that on the other end of the shower ma. Okay, perfect. That is all that you need. All right. So go ahead and put your shower ma laying flat in on your your toaster your grill whatever it is that you have and try to you know completely cover it okay so this will sit on the toaster for let's talk about maybe two minutes a minute two minutes but don't let it get burnt actually don't let it get burnt okay try to always check it to see if it gets the consistency that you want it and the way you know it's ready feel the surface of the bread if it's a little bit hard then you know you have gotten your perfect shawarma i told you it's very very easy it's not rocket science you can make this for your breakfast lunch dinner uh, if you have your guests on have it made for them and i'm sure they will be pleased as well and voila there you go that's your shawarma ready so guys hope you enjoyed this video thoroughly and thank you so much for you know watching it yes please don't forget to leave a comment like share and of course subscribe and please turn on your notification bell so you get to get notified each time i upload a new video so yeah until next time remember to make it a great week and yeah bye